Magazine is in. Bullet is loaded. We're live. Three, two, one. Oh, what's happened? Jerry Rig Everything is a tech reviewing legend, best known for literally tearing phones in half with his bare hands. He's tested hundreds, if not thousands of products, and we don't want to be one of his next victims. So when we were sending him the new CMF phone one to test, we thought, why don't we hand deliver a very special version for him? This is the story of how we conquered Jerry Rig Everything. We were tasked to make a video for the new CMF Phone 1. It's got a removable back panel, so we set out with the goal to design a unique version that's indestructible for Zach to test. Fairly innocent, right? Although our phones are quality checked to withstand everyday use, Zach isn't an everyday test sort of guy. And we thought, what if he shoots it? So we had to switch and focus on this more extreme outcome. We have two weeks before we're meeting Zach to test these phones and they need to be bulletproof. The idea is we're gonna use the phone's replaceable back and design one that can withstand a bullet. I think we need to find an expert because we don't have much time. The design team were busy doing some real work, but they recommended we reach out to Mark and Hans. They specialize in prototyping and developing products. So if anyone's going to pull this off, it's them. After giving them the brief and the new CMF phone one, they were already modeling some ideas for us. So all we had to to do was step aside and let him cook. Hey, Future Deck here. We're giving away 10 of these to 10 of you. So subscribe now for a chance to win. Back to the video. Mark and Hans are great, and I have total faith that they'll nail this, but I have a personal problem. When we dropped the phone off, I noticed an iPhone on one of their desks, and we can't be having Apple users stealing our thunder. So we've cooked up an idea to make one ourselves. I was thinking, what exists that's already bulletproof? Bulletproof vest, the Pope's car, that guy's headset that saved his life, shout out to Razor. So we know these things exist. It can't be that hard to take a rectangle out of one of them and put it on the back of the phone, right? Wrong. Turns out bulletproof things aren't super easy to find in London. And after looking around for a while, we were struggling to find anywhere that could help us. All our representatives are engaged at present. After a few setbacks and aired calls, we were beginning to lose hope until... <laughs> Hi there, I was just wondering, um, do you stock bulletproof vests or any sort of Kevlar panels? We do. And do, do you have that in store that I could come and look at? Yes, we do. Hello, I'm wanting to buy a bulletproof vest. So this is HD1, so handgun one. Within that, that mm. would have the Kevlar. Yeah, we've got a five year warranty as well. That's good. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. <laughs> That will actually stop a more higher velocity bullet. That's a right. ceramic plate plus the little protection of the Kevlar behind it. Mm -hmm. So that's um, bulletproof. Yeah, that's bulletproof. We'll take the plate, please. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. So this can stop a bullet. This can stop a big rifle. We're gonna have to figure out how we can cut it and not shatter it because supposedly this can shatter very easily. So, spoiler alert, it shattered very easily. This was a disaster that set us back by another two days and $100. We were clearly out of our depth, so we thought we should visit Mark and Hans for some inspiration. Hello, hiya. Declan, how are you? So this is the first time I've seen the phone. Right. So should we see if it fits? Oh, that's good. That is the first time we've test fitted it. Oh, round of applause for that. And in an ideal world, we'd be using materials like stainless steel, Kevlar. We looked at ceramic tiles. There's all these awesome materials and resources out there, but none of them will let you do it in two weeks. So the thought process is you have the foam, so that goes inside like that. The second part of the design will be the sort of holder. And then we have the best bit, which will be laser cut three mil steel pad. We will glue the metal sheets on, get them welded. What we would then have is a steel exoskeleton that perfectly then fits a fresh case. With that design in mind, where would be the preferred shooting point? The reason why it's angled is so if it's shot straight, there's a chance that it could take away the momentum of the bullet as well. And there's enough of an air gap inside, so when the bullet does hit, it can deform into that air gap. I mean, so. you've definitely managed to give it some sort of aesthetic appeal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's kind of kind of ridiculous. Put it in your pocket. I mean, it'll, it will fit that pocket right there. Now that is... That is the future. How confident are you both out of, out of 10 if you were to I, give I'd it I'd say number? I'm more confident now. After holding it in my hand, I was like, oh, this, like, a, I think a bullet could take this. I'm now very intrigued though. Yeah. I'm excited, I must admit. Now we've seen their plan, it's time to build ours. I hope they don't mind, but we stole a couple of their ideas. 
Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna be cheeky and cheat a little bit. Technically, the phone will still be attached to the case, but it's not gonna fit in any pockets. Basically, the ballistic shield is made up of two layers. The front layer is a ceramic shield which is designed to crack and shatter upon impact. This helps dissipate the energy from one pinpoint across a larger area to defend the thing beneath it. So we've really only got one chance to get this right. Underneath the ceramic is a series of Kevlar layers. This dampens the blast further and stops the bullet from hitting the phone. So with that in mind, here's my plan. The biggest weakness we're preparing against is the shock from the bullet and the effect it's going to have on the internals. So we need to apply some kind of spongy layer between that to take the force for us. Then we just need to layer the Kevlar and ceramic on top and we should be good to go. And with all of that, I'm very pleased to present the DIY indestructible CMF Phone One case. Anyway, the guys have just finished their design, so I've sent Sam to go and grab them. Zach said meet us here at 8 a.m. at these coordinates. Looks like we're at a shooting range, so our hunch was right. All we've got to do now is wait for him to turn up. How you feeling, mate? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Sam, I'm pretty stressed. Hey Zach, how are you doing? Doing great, how are you? Good, really good. It's very, very exciting to have you here. We've got some exciting things that hopefully you're gonna to put to the test. Here we've got the CMF Phone 1. It looks very interesting. So the first thing I notice is this little thing down here at the bottom. Is that like a speaker or something? No, so you can unscrew that. It's kind of like a little wheel. Oh, okay. And then you have four screws here, which you can also take off and replace with customizable backs, no different way. colors, different material. So also you can take this off and attach a phone stand, yeah. different accessories which kind of clip on. Modular. Yeah, make it your own. That's actually really cool. So we've got a couple different versions. We've worked with some professional designers. And uh, yeah, does it fit in your pocket? You know, it could. There we go. Look at that. I see no problem with it. No, not at all. We've kind of taken inspiration from a specific car. Okay. I'll just say which car, but a specific <laughs> car. So we don't just want a, the phone to survive you know, your bullet. We want it to work on the other side as well. This is amazing. I love the fact that there's like a USB-C cutout in the bottom. You can still access the ports. Of course. And then we have this, which can definitely fit in a very large pocket, <laughs> designed to take, I'd say, a bigger bullet. Is this Velcro? Um, yes, <laughs> for e ease of access. I had no idea this was a DIY version. I, I almost thought it blended in perfectly with the performance. Well, thank you, yeah. So my official prediction yeah. is that both of these are gonna work. Let's give it a shot, <laughs> literally. This is the real deal. It has a real battery in it. If the bullet goes straight through, it's gonna be a fireworks show. Jerry? What do you think? It should be all right. The cool thing though is that the phone is actually recording, so we should be able to see the bullet traveling towards the phone. Here we go. Three, two, one. I was close, hold up. Oh. There we go, got it. Oh. Okay. That hurt me. <laughs> It looks like there might be a bulge in the side. I might need to change my prediction. Uh-oh. Oh my God. That's wild. Is it rolling? Oh, dude, it's oh, going. It's on. Look at that. Wow, it's on. <laughs> nice work with the construction. I mean, I think that's a victory. Yeah? I don't even think it's, yeah? Wow. Yeah, it's in one piece. Yes, Sam, come on. Nothing won. Jerry rig everything, none. The pinnacle of perfection. We are going for the DIY bulletproof case. We have Velcro on the back. I mean, what's a better word for Velcro? Premium adhesion technology on the back, holding it in place. Doesn't get better than that. <laughs> Let's put it out there. Okay, so it's clear the other designers have succeeded. It's now time for us to test our DIY version. Let's see what happens. This is your creation, right? <laughs> this is my baby. This is the moment of truth. Oh, she's beautiful. Three, two, one. Whoa! 
<laughs> Something flew left. Oh, that was the phone. <laughs> we stopped the bullet, but we didn't protect the phone. One of the key attributes of a case is that it holds the phone. So that's just something to think about yeah. with version two. You can tell he tests tech. <laughs> the, the goal of a case is to keep the phone in it, Sam. <laughs> yeah. I want the DIYer to win. Yeah. I have no ulterior motives. You just built it wrong. <laughs> Let's see. No way. <laughs> that is amazing. Look at that. I mean, that's protected. There's not even a divot. Here's the thing though. What are these straps made of? Um, shoe strings. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm impressed. Brilliant. No so let's... Now let's just hope the phone survived. Oh. Hey! We're on! As a professional DIYer, I would have made a faceplate. So you put the phone in and uh -huh. then Velcro a faceplate on top of the phone. So I it kind of like clamps it. Version 2. Version 2. Version 2. So the results are in. Congratulations, Zach. Congratulations looks... to you guys. You, you, have, you have phones that have survived regardless of the case they were in. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. There is one more thing I want to test. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Three, two, one. There we go. Oh. <laughs>